Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with magazine collage from start to finish and showing you how I create the pages I do. So one of the first things I do with magazine collage is I really love them being on a really, really bright background. And one of the easiest backgrounds to make is just scraping paint across your page. So I'm just using Dina Wakely page um, paints. I'm using my uh, little gift card and I'm just scraping until it, the paint can't move anymore and you can see me sort of putting rubbing my finger over it to make sure it's all dry and um, basically by doing this what I'm doing is creating layers of paint now the reason that the blue is staying blue and not turning green is because that orange underneath was dry it was such a thin layer of paint that um, it was dry pretty much immediately so you can go in and you can keep adding until you are happy with the finished piece. It is going to look like a dog's breakfast. That's okay, because we're going to be adding a whole heap of stuff over the top. This is just to get some color in the background. Now you can see my yellow there is still a little bit wet because I didn't scrape that out as much. I want it to be a little bit more opaque um, because yellow obviously is quite a light color. So if I really scraped it out, you really wouldn't see it very much. Final thing I'm doing is adding in some neon colors. Now neon is fabulous. Um, it's like putting a filter over the top of your paint. It just boosts the color. So you can see that I'm kind of putting over the colors that I have. So I'm putting yellow over yellow, green over green and so on. And it just really boosts the color. Um, I'm using our stamp paints, but I know the cocktail paints from Die Reevely work the same. All um, fluorescent colors are translucent, so they work in the same way. So you get this really translucent picture over the top. So now what I'm doing is going through my magazine to find some images. So I'm just going in and cutting out some faces, cutting out some bodies, um, cutting out some eyes, some lips. I really didn't have kind of an idea of what I wanted to do on this page. so. I knew, sorry, I did. I knew I wanted to do a magazine collage, but I wasn't sure what images I would use. So this is why I've um, included this little bit in here. So you can see where I actually sourced my images from. So I've got a body, I've got this much larger head. One of the things that I really like about magazine collage is that you can really play around with proportion and that's what makes it look really kooky that's what makes it sort of look a bit odd and funny. So I had this fish and I had an idea of, you know, having it as extra hair or having it as a dress or something, but it didn't quite work for me. So I'm going back in and looking for something else. Now I'm not gonna throw that fish away. I'm gonna keep it there for another day to use for another thing. I really don't know what I'm looking for. Um, it's one of those funny things. You just sort of keep flicking until you think oh yeah that'll work so sunglasses are always good um, extra lips bags all the accessories can be really fun to use too I think in this page I wanted to draw attention to her eyes so um, I was going to do that I've got a necklace there as well um, fashion magazines are really good but also um, more general magazines like um, better homes and gardens that have um, flowers, they have homewares, they have figures in it as well. You can sometimes get a lot from those that you can use as sort of those accessory bits. Or they've got, you know, really cool patterns or um, pillows that you can use and turn them into hats or things like that. So you can sort of see here, I really like the necklace, but the, the eyes weren't right. I needed to do something with the eyes. I also decided I wanted to change her lips. I have a real thing that on magazine collages, I do like to have um, really bright colored lips. And because of fashion for the last year or so has been to have quite you know neutral lips, it's been quite frustrating. If you do want to change them, however, um, using like a Copic marker over the top, so you've sort of got that um, transparency type color, does work quite well. So you can um, you can color them yourself. So you see me just using a glue stick to glue everything down on my page. 
like still playing around with that fish. I really want to put that fish on that page. So the next thing that I do um, is to use my paint markers to outline the clothing. So I use this to outline the main parts of the clothing, of the jacket, of the trousers, put in the pockets, put in the um, outside edges, the cuffs and so on. And it just helps boost the colour, finish off the page somewhat. And it means that you can um, go in and decorate and make it your own. So I'm using pinks and turquoises, I'm putting in some lines, I'm putting in the details of the buttons. You can do whatever you fancy on these pages. You can recolor things so it fits into your page a little bit more. Uh, the other thing you can do if you've got light clothing, if you've got say a figure that's got white clothing on it, quite often I will get a stencil out and stencil over the top um, using different coloured inks so you get this sort of really cool pattern over the top. The other thing that you can do is what I'm doing now and actually just go in and draw over the top of your image. So she's got this funky star eye. Um, she did lose her eye a little bit when I did that so I'm going to have to draw it in again. I've decided to give her two blue eyes just because but you can sort of you know have one green eye, one blue eye, one pink eye, one purple eye. So <laughs> It's up to you. These are these are supposed to be weird and kooky and odd. So um, they're not supposed to be perfect. One of the things I do like to do, and again, because I've got it in the background, is to add neon colours. Um, if you'd told me 10 years ago that I would be mad using neon, I would have laughed at you because <laughs> I really wasn't happy with neon. Um, but it, it is just that beautiful boost of colour on your page. The final thing I'm doing on the magazine image is going around with my black um, Posca paint pen and outlining everything. So this sort of just gives you that final definition or detail on your page of everything, makes it sort of all flow together, make it look like it was sort of all one image to begin with. I also chose around the big eye to sort of do lots of um, circles around it and again that kind of blends it in even though you can sort of still see it's a bit of a cutout page, by having those circles around it, it blends it into that background just a little bit more than it had been before. With the paint pens it is quite important when you're working with them to particularly on slick surfaces like magazine um, covers or pages to dry them off in between like I'm doing here because if you forget to and put your hand in it it will smear everywhere and it's a bit hard to clean up. Um, so just like acrylic paint, make sure it's dry before you do your next layer or put something down to protect your hand or to protect the paint underneath so it doesn't smear. On magazine collages like this, I do like to put a border and this is inspired by basically the godmother of who, and not she didn't invent magazine collage, but um, for the sort of stuff that we see these days, um, check out Tisha Moore on um, Google and see her artwork. She does amazing, amazing, amazing pages. And one of the things that she has on a lot of her pages is she puts a border. Now usually she actually collages her own borders and puts lots of different random little pieces around them. But in this instance, I thought I'd use this washi tape. This is from James Luke Burke Creative. And I just love it because it's just lots of different um, marks and it's sort of random while it's just one piece of washi, so um, it's just a really great one. You can also just use lots of different washi tapes, tear them up and do them in different sections on this page, so that's pretty cool. With my magazine collages, I always do tend to do a large focal quote and then some smaller writing on it as well. I choose to use my paint pen to write out my quotes. I do simple writing first and then go back in like I'm doing now and widen up. The reason I do that is because again with the paint pen um, when it's still wet I can wipe it off with a wet wipe because the acrylic paint underneath is dry so it will um, wipe off. It's not, going to, it's not going to be permanent until it is dry. So it just gives me that little um, time that if I need to change something I can. I find when I use pencil I press too hard and it dents a page and I can't get rid of it and it really bothers me so this is how I choose to do it. When I've got big writing like this too I tend to always um, highlight it and you see by putting the white around it it ties it into the rest of the page um, and it makes it pop out from the background. 
Final thing I'm going to do is to put some journaling in this page. So I've got that big quote, she was tempted to cause a scene. You can see me thinking about what <laughs> journaling isn't doing here. Please apologise for it um, being out of focus. Basically, I was just very frustrated with what's happening in the world, what's happening in the media, what's happened to critical thinking abilities across the world. As a teacher, it makes me really sad um, that people, you know, don't necessarily question things or don't go and find their own information or don't go and get stuff from more than one source. Um, and sometimes it makes me want to stand in my little, own little corner and stamp my feet, but I'm more grown up than that. So I journal it instead and put it in my art journals. So here's the final page. And because I had that other page sitting there, I decided to do this page as well. So exactly the same process. I've used washi tapes in the background. And the quote from this page was, um, was busy watching lots and lots of Hamilton, which is just put on Disney Plus. So I was using quotes from that page too, which kind of tied in with the, the original page and what I was feeling with it. So I hope you have a go at doing some magazine college. It's so much fun to do. Um, you can make it as weird and wacky as you want to, and it's a great way to get your snarky feelings out in your page and have it look a little bit quirky. Until next time, bye for now.